I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at my APC uh, 1500 UPS uninterruptible power supply. So APC makes really great uninterruptible power supplies, and the concept is if you live in an area where you have power surges or you have power outages, this is a way to provide some backup power um, and some power conditioning to your sensitive devices. So there's a battery in here, and um, it's gonna provide some runtime even if the power goes out. And in my case, I've got it um, connected into a cable modem here, um, my network storage, a router and a, um, a hotspot that connects to a cellular network. So even if the power goes out, um, these will keep running and I'll still have wireless internet access in my home because again, my UPS here has a big battery inside of it and it's gonna be able to continue to run my devices, in this case for about um, three to four hours. So if you're running 100 watts, uh, it's gonna last about an hour. Mine are only drawing about 20 watts, so it'll last you know, probably uh, four, even maybe five times as uh, long as so about, you know, probably three to five hours. Um, so that's really helpful. You continue to have access to those devices in the event of a power outage. A lot of people like to plug a computer into this so that if the power goes out, it doesn't just shut right down and you might lose your work if you have things open. Um, you can have a little bit of time as it runs on the battery to properly close things, uh, shut things down, save your documents. It's a really great um, kind of business continuity device to have for that purpose too, in addition to mine, which is just securing my internet access there. Um, some great features here, again, an hour runtime at 100 watts, which is great. It's got this nice compact battery. On the back here, you can see we have um, five outlets on the side that are um, going to be connected into the UPS and will run even if the power goes out. Um, and then we've got five more that are just connected into the surge protection here. And that's another great thing with a UPS like this. Um, with the 1500, if there's a power surge or the voltage of the power coming into this device changes really dramatically, it'll stabilize the voltage coming out to your sensitive devices. So it's like a, a really sort of beefed up surge protector. And uh, where I live in California, the grid power can really fluctuate. We can get surges, especially if there's a lot of uh, need to be using air conditioners and people are using a lot of them, and then you can end up with uh, these power surges, and this basically smooths those out and ensures that even if the grid voltage fluctuates or um, there's surges, then you're still gonna get clean and consistent power to your devices, which is really helpful. Um, and that's kind of a use, I would say, even if it's not uh, in the middle of a power outage, on a day-to-day -day basis, this is just gonna ensure a more consistent voltage to your devices, and that's helpful in the long term for longevity there and to prevent power surges from causing damage. So some other nice features here, um, I can get a readout on the front here of a lot of the statistics and things about the device. So online, it is plugged into the wall, um, it is getting grid power. We've got a battery indicator so we can see how much uh, power we have there, and then a load indicator, how much of the um, total uh, load capacity we're currently using, very low because it's just really plugged into, again, those routers and things. Um, so now I'm gonna press this button here. It'll cycle through some data. So we get the output voltage, 116 volts. That's in the normal range of grid power. That's about 110 up to a little over 120. So that's good. Um, and I can keep pressing this button to cycle through. So my uh, output um, frequency, a 60 Hertz, that's perfect. Um, input, 117 volts. So again, solid, the grid is operating well, but if it didn't, this would straighten it out and uh, make sure that I was getting consistent voltage out there. Um, this is giving me some uh, uh, data on events that's recorded. Um, this is the estimated runtime. So again, uh, several hours of runtime um, with my current load. The load, it's gonna give me the uh, amount of power that I'm using in watts. Again, right around 20 watts with those devices plugged in. Uh, if you had a computer plugged into this, you'd expect to be probably up over 100 watts. And again, you'd only have about an hour runtime, maybe a bit less if you have a powerful workstation or gaming PC connected into this. Um, and this is the percentage of the overall load that I could be running, so very low, um, very good capacity on here. And uh, now we're back to the start here. You can also silence if there's an alarm. So if the power does go out, we'll get an alarm to let you know that it's time to uh, go and shut your computer down or save your work um, or switch over uh, to a generator if you have one or whatever. Um, so you can silence an alarm if you do end up getting one. So it's nice to have this readout to be able to see 
the level of the grid power and um, also to make sure that uh, your battery is fully charged. So if you do have an outage, you are ready to go. So it pretty much just does its own thing most of the time. Um, I've sometimes heard little surges come in. You'll see the lights flicker and it'll actually click over to its own power and provide backup. Um, you can hear it, it almost makes a physical kind of clunking noise when it does that. And uh, you know, everything just runs consistently. I haven't had any issues with those devices shutting off or running inconsistently because of those surges in grid power. So I really like that you get a good amount of runtime on this. You get some great uh, statistics and feedback there and it does protect your electronics on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's also there, you kind of know you have that peace of mind that if there is a power outage and you're working on some important document, if you have a computer plugged in, or in my case, you know, you need to get online with your other devices um, because they're plugged into this backup power source with UPS, you're gonna be able to uh, still use those. So that is the uh, 1500 from APC.